Okay, this is Hot Rod from Transformers Ireland Online. Uh, just doing my first video review here. It's going to be of the Universe um, Decepticon Darkwind, um, who's, as we all know, he's a repaint of the Silverbolt Ultra that was released. Um, I wanted to go for this, so I held out on the, for this one. Um, been trying to get it for a while. Um, I just don't like Silverbolt. Uh, I don't like the character, and I, I don't like the color scheme um, of the other toy. So I wanted to go for this as well. Um, for that reason, and for the fact that there aren't enough Decepticons in the line. Um, so, he's pretty cool. He's pretty big. Uh, the color scheme, I don't know if that's going to come up too well there, but he's kind of a, a really dark military gray. Um, he's got uh, purple on his wings, a uh, lighter gray on the kind of tail fins with a kind of a neon blue trim. That trim is carried over onto these front fins here and the kind of I guess vents there are, are that light grey. There's translucent purple on the windows and on the engines at the back. He's got a Decepticon logo on the top and he's got a, a button here or that one there which as you can see shows off I don't know if that's coming up too well but when you press it, it show, gives off engine noises and cannon noises and stuff like that. Um, from the rear, you can see big gaping hole there with the head in it. Um, actually, on the underneath, because of the type of jet it is, I guess because it's quite slimline, they couldn't really hide too much uh, like they would do with the other toys. So basically what you have is jet on top and hibernating robot on the bottom it's not very well hidden at all and you can really kind of get an idea of the color scheme there uh, his cannon sits on the underneath of his cockpit um, when he's in this mode um, and that is detachable and it fires um, again it's the same kind of grey and it's got a big neon missile uh, quite possibly the gayest missile I've ever seen I'll put that over here for now so that's the jet. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's got some weight to it. It's good quality. Um, as we know, it's a Toys R Us exclusive, so unless you're kind of planning to go up north or go over to England, it'll be harder to find down here in the Republic. Um, but I think it's well worth it. Uh, it's a great homage to the original figure that it's based on. Uh, it's even got the lightning stripes there. Let's see if you can get a good look at that there. Um, he's cool. He's definitely one of my favorites of the toy line. Um, for for a repaint, he's he's just great. I think the color scheme is fantastic. Okay, so I'll transform him now. You fold that back and clip it up in place there. Bring the arms out. They're kind of locked in place. Same again there. Let me separate the legs. Fold up the landing gear. Pull that out and turn it. Same again. We extend the feet. And the fists just fold out from the thrusters there. Clip into place. And the pro the best function on here, and as my good friend Jay always says, every toy, every transformer toy should have this. That right there. That is the Mutz Nuts. That is just so cool when it comes to Transformers toys. Okay, and that's it really. Uh, on the back, these tail fins fold down like that. And you spin them around again. And the, can the cannon obviously goes into either hand. Let's just give them a decent enough pose. And there he is. He's really, really, really big and imposing. Um, with the the nose of the plane sticking out the back, it makes him taller than your average Ultra. He's, he kind of uh, is a few inches taller than uh, Onslaught. Um, he's really kind of lanky as well, kind of slender. He's, he's pretty cool looking. Um, the, the kibble is... 
it's well conceived in the respect that once you actually transform him, you do get some serious height off of him. He's kind of really poseable as well. Um, the front has some great detailing. Uh, you've got the kind of colour bars there, you fit yellow fading into red, the Decepticon logo is boxed out. Um, there's just some great stuff there, little lines and detailing coming up here. Um, and obviously the head has been changed. Um, let me just see if I can get that in close. It's the same head as Silverbolt, it just it comes out and it, it, all, it looks almost different because of the paint job. Um, it's just really cool looking. Uh, on the rear is all jet, um, but it it's not as bulky as you'd think. It, it kind of I guess it looks a bit bulkier. I thought on Silverbolt when I saw the teaser pics that that just looked horrible, but it's really not that bad. Uh, you can kind of get away with it. Uh, the joints are good and firm, not like my Inferno. Um, they all click into place. Um, his arms are actually kind of tricky to bend. Um, because of the way the fists fold out, you can't really swivel those at all. They're just kind of stationary. But he's got a forearm rotation, so you can kind of do that. Um, it, again, he's got buttons here that they just follow through from the vehicle mode. Um, he's really, really cool. He, you can get some really good poses out of him, too. There he is posing his ass off um, and he does look really he just looks great he looks absolutely phenomenal next to the other toys um, it's nice to see they have a, a nice big kind of uh, airplane based bad guy in the line um, I guess this would be the kind of Decepticon equivalent to Jetfire from the classics line um, he's just great I'm just really glad I held out and I picked up this one instead of Silverbolt um, obviously, if you're a Silver, Silverbolt fan, you'll go for him. Um, I just really like the color scheme on this. And I'm going to do a size comparison now. Just let me grab something. Okay, so there he is next to Hanky Hotshot. Or Hot Rod, as they like to call him over there. Whoops. I mean, he's, you know, almost, inclu including the, the nose of the plane, he's almost double the size. Um, now he was 23 pounds, uh, which is pretty good for, for an Ultra, I think, personally. Um, so I got him in Countdown, and I just think he's a great figure. He's For me, he's a must-have. Um, again, the, the only kind of thing really that would be a problem is the kibble on the back, but it's not too big a deal. Um, I would recommend this guy. I would give him 5 out of 5. Okay, so that's it. Take care.